Let's give a warm welcome to my favorite and now yours, the very talented Mr. Scott Capri! All right, come on, wait a minute. Now, let's hear that shit again. Welcome to the club. Let's hear your applause. Come on. All right, yeah. All right. We're going to have a good time tonight. I thought of something genius. What about a service that delivers things to people you hate? And I thought about it. I said, you know what? We'll start with a douchebag and you send it to your ex-boss with a note. To the real douchebag, here's a douchebag for you. And then to your mother-in-law. A great thing, you send her a used rubber. This could have been your grandkid. <laughs> great, right? See my ex-mother-in-law looking at that. Oh my God. You know, as you get older, everything starts to go on you. Now you guys are real young, you won't understand this, but I'm old. Your eyes start to go on you, your hearing goes, this goes, everything, it's terrible. But one thing that's really funny, do you ever notice when people are older, they look like they shrink? You know what I'm talking about, they have relatives they, in the 80s, they look like they get smaller. I got an Uncle Vito, 85 years old last week, let's hear it from him, I'm very proud of him, that's right. And he, <laughs> and he proves the meaning, the smaller you get, the older you are. I want to bring him out, he's a little hard of hearing, so please give a nice round of applause. He's really excited to be here. This is the one place he comes out from the Senior Citizen Center. Let me get introduce you to Vito. How you doing, Vito? Oh, look at this place. It looks like a whorehouse. The other day, I got into an argument with Aunt Mary. I say, you're no good in debt either. I storm out. Go to the Senior Center. Well, about an hour later, I feel guilty. So I call her up. I say, Mary. Why are you taking so long to answer the phone? She says, I'm still in bed. I say, what are you doing in bed so late? She says, getting a second opinion. <laughs> oh, God. He's a regular here. Please give it up for the one and only Jeff Simon! <laughs> Two rules in the club tonight. No rules, enjoy yourself. All right, guys? Loosen up everything. You over there, do whatever the hell you want. You know, take your pants off. I don't give a shit. The other day, my internist referred me to a urologist. You know what a urologist is, lady? You know, they go down there, yeah. Anyway, she was sexy, good looking. She said, look, you gotta stop masturbating. I said, why? She said, because I can't examine you. <laughs> Give it up for the lovely one of a kind, Brittany Sherrod. Let's hear some love. Come on, guys. What's your name? Pete, I'm sorry I didn't hear you. Pete, you mumbled. Sounded like you had a dick in your mouth. Anyway, Pete. Why are pubic hairs curly? So they don't poke her in the eye. Ladies like lip. <clears throat> Guys like lip too. <clears throat> I want to tell you. Our next comedian uh, is a regular here. He's made over 50 independent films, none porno. Give it up for the one and only Steve Aaron! <laughs> What do you call an anorexic with a yeast infection? A quarter pounder with cheese. These are all these. Like, these are all college jokes. Come on. Why are guys like cars? Why are men like cars? Why? Because when they pull out, they don't check to see if anyone's coming. That's right. That's that's here for the guys. Yeah. <laughs> it gives me a pleasure to introduce this guy, and uh, I don't get him mixed up at all. Every time I see him, he gets better and better. Now, this is the type of guy, he cuts your hair, tells jokes. The one and only average black man, Kennedy Warren! <laughs> Bulimia. Who's bulimic in this audience? Huh? <laughs> well, you better give it up, man. Better start eating or some shit. Cut it out. I'm getting wood. You're made of wood. All right. <laughs> Our next comedian is a very, very funny individual. All over Manhattan. I'm really glad to bring this guy up. Give it up for Alex. Babbitt! Come on up, Alex. Nice Come on, guys. Get the applause going. Vagina used to be very hairy. I mean, you could, it was very interesting. You could find all kinds of things in a vagina. Money, cocaine, bills, every kind of thing. Now, like a Brazilian wax, nothing. There's no interest in it, you know what I mean? And crabs were a whole different thing back then, let me tell you, man. You could find a whole form of animals, crabs, shrimps, baby monkeys, every kind of thing. All right, our next comedian is a Goomba. I want you to give it up all over from Manhattan, John Sapanero! I don't know if it's me or not, but Adele looks like a transsexual, correct? Every time I look, it's more like a man. I can keep looking down at the dress, you know? It gets bigger and bigger, and I mean, great voice, but definitely looks like a tranny.